to play Fortnite Save the World Battle Royale Creative or almost any other game you want to play on a really, really just terrible computer or laptop while you're traveling and um, what you need to bind your settings to if you're playing on a trackpad. Um, I'm going to be getting a mouse soon, but um, I'm just here for like a week. So um, I, I'm going to show you guys how you can do this and it runs very smoothly at around 60 frames as long as you have a decent internet connection. So um, quickly, let me show you the specs of this um, very old, bad um, laptop that I'm using. It's my mom's actually. So um, it has only four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, a Core i5. Um, so mine at home has 16 gigs, um, a Core i7, 8700. Um, this thing has like no memory. And look at how bad this graphics card is, guys. Not even with something like a GTX 480. I, at home, I have a GTX 1060. But that doesn't matter. This is a very low... Um, graphics card but the way you got to do this so here we go we got Fortnite all loaded up and let me show you guys my frame rate this is better than the frame rate i get in my house um so we get 180 frames per second let me just show you our settings here um those are our settings pretty good settings um all very high and um yeah you can play almost any other single game as long as you have it on steam or something like that but yeah let me show you guys how you get this done so um, once you've looked that up, you're just going to click right here, NVIDIA GeForce Now. And if you're wondering why I'm not recording this, is because, um, actually, this computer is very bad. I, it's not even capable of recording, to be honest. That, that's why I'm actually recording my iPad, but I want to share this to you guys. Um, so yeah, you got to go here, request beta access. This took me eight months to get beta access. So even if you're not going to use it in the near future, just get it in case you want to ever use this. You're going to get an activation code, and um, you can use it on whatever device you want. Then you just go down here um, to um, login register, and then up here it'll say waitlist. You're just gonna press login slash register. That's just gonna give you this loading bar, and um, yeah. And the way you're gonna be able to test this is you're gonna search up speed test online, and then go to speed test by Ookla, the global broadcast, and then uh, it's gonna take you to this page here. You're just gonna wanna click go on this, and um, then it's gonna just tell you what, um, your actual internet speed is so right here i have 40 ping that's because i'm not connected to my router right now um if i was i would be getting even higher speeds but it still runs pretty smoothly um at these speeds so our, our, so is our download rate so we have 21 megabytes per second which is above what you need it recommends you have at least 15 megabytes a second and then our, your upload speed is not going to matter here we have four set on um, megabytes per second here my download speed at uh, my other house is like well, I'm not really at my house right now, but um, it's four times the speed. So I, if I wanted to, I could run um, it there with this, but I don't even want to. But um, yeah, I'm going to hop into a Fortnite match, and we'll show you how it goes. All right, guys, it's extremely hard to record at the same time while playing, but as you guys can see, this is the same computer. We are running at a steady 160 frames. I might as well count that 60 because this might be thing go past 60, but as you can see, you're very smooth, nice-looking gameplay. You got the Santa guy. I don't know how they managed to do this, but um, they did, so make sure you guys go to the this. Um, as you can see, the sound is looking perfectly and everything. Um, if, if this computer is just a little bit, I'd probably be able to live stream, but sadly, I don't think I will. But um, we're still going to be making videos and stuff like that, so um, yeah. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and um, get a landing uh, for you guys, and I'll show you how you can bind your keybinds so you can uh, play with a trackpad. Alright, so um, if you go pull up this, you're going to go um, all the way to settings here. Um, and then you're going to want to go all the way to where you have these. Then um, the main thing you're going to want to change, if you have any guns or anything, bind it to your mouse when you play it at home. Um, you don't have to take that bind off. You're just going to want to go to the second bind because things can be binded twice. You're going to want to click that bind and click um, any button that's not um, binded to anything now. So ones that you might not be using um, are this button right here. Um, another button you might not be using is the F1, 2, 3, and 4 keys. Um, another one, I don't know, maybe the N key or the um, B key, or also the Alt key. Those are some, uh, but you can use whichever ones you want. I'm just giving you some options here. But um, yeah, obviously, um, the main one you're gonna wanna switch is target. So um, if you're targeting, um, to right click on a trackpad, you have to do this, and then to shoot, you have to do this. So it kinda doesn't make sense. So the way you have to switch this is, um, if you go over here to where it says target, right mouse button, this you're still gonna wanna keep when you're actually back at your um, main, place where you're actually playing Fortnite, um, but when you're on vacation, um, as you can see here, um, right next to your trackpad, there should be this little um, key here, and then if you're using any other guns, you can bind them to these three here, so while you're playing, you can um, use your mouse to move around and shoot, then you can still use these three um, buttons to um, actually 
use these um, buttons, and then um, yeah, you're just gonna wanna go here where it says fire, target, your, where it says left, you're just gonna wanna click that. Um, and yeah, um, if I can get a gun, I'll show you guys how this works. Okay, right, so I have my pump here. So pretty much to aim, you're gonna be able to do this. So pretty much, you're gonna wanna click this, and then with your thumb, bam, uh, shoot it, and you can reload. So that's pretty much how you do it, and then if you have another gun, you can uh, switch using these. Um, yeah, let me just see if I can give you guys a little graphics showcase of this, if I can find a way to place my iPad at an angle. Alright guys, I'm not sure how well you can currently see this, but um, this is just a quick graphics test of um, what you're, where you're going to be seeing on a MacBook Air um, 2012 um, with 25 megabytes upload speed if you have this speed plus thing. I'm trying my best to go on a track, but I don't think I'm too bad. I'm getting used to it, but um, we did run out of master, but um, just a graphics test. I have my motion blur on. Looks pretty cool. Um, keep in mind if you have a better monitor, that would be cool because you can actually go up like, you can easily hit 240 frames with this application, especially if you have higher internet speeds, which you most likely do because I'm not even the next time I matter right now. This is me doing 90s with a trackpad. Kind of, kind of sad, but, um, I mean, with a trackpad, it's very hard to game. I definitely recommend adjusting your sensitivity, but, um, yeah, let's go ahead and show you what other games you can play before we wrap up this video. But I'm here, that's it. See you guys in the next video. Peace.